Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another Gorse trailer reaction for today and this time I am taking a look at the brand new official trailer for Mission Impossible Fallout. This is the 29th movie in the Mission Impossible series and hopefully it's the 26th really good one because the last few have been really fucking good. <laughs> I've really enjoyed all of them. This is a series that I didn't, I never thought we would get this far and it would stay this fun. Like, I would say pretty much every Mission Impossible movie, to a certain degree, is fun. Like, even 2. A lot of people don't like 2. I, I enjoy 2 quite a bit. It's silly as hell, but you know what? I'll take silly as hell over just boring, you know? And I would say Mission Impossible 1 has some boring elements. I still think it's kind of fun, though, you know? You know comparing first one to, like, Ghost Protocol, hell no. But Mission Impossible 1 is still fun. So for the most part... I really like this series. I love the last couple. I really do. And I thought the third one was a great first step to greatness for the series. So hopefully this one's going to be great. Brings back the same director as the last one, uh, Christopher McQuarrie, who used to be a writer for Tom Cruise movies. Um, and now he's writing. I mean, now he's directing. I think he's writing too. I'm not exactly sure. But um, let's check out this trailer because the last one was great. So let's watch this one because this one's probably going to be great too. Right? You got it? Right, go. Oh, God! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Jesus! Oh, no! Oh, my God! Alright, those mini trailers are okay, because... Without first, a great suffering... Because it's the second trailer, I'm okay with that. The the suffering, the greater the peace. The end you always... That's the bad guy from the last movie. I thought it was weird that they didn't kill him off. Because pretty much every Mission Impossible villain gets killed off. And the blood will be on your hands. I prayed to God that it wasn't true. Solomon Lane escaped in Paris. And now the world is at risk. This is the CIA's mission. You use a scalpel. So, I prefer a hammer. Yeah, I prefer a mustache. And you better not remove it. This is a bad idea. Is it ever a good one? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Bing Rames. He's not just some observer. He's an assassin. I don't trust anybody outside of this room. You go rogue, he's been authorized to hunt you down and kill you. That's the job. That's the job. No arguments. Might be a good adversary this time. Like an actual, like, Where's tough one. Turn left! Go, 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 go! What are you waiting for? I'm jumping out a window! <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> oh yeah, that's where he broke his foot. I saw the interview. We talked about that. Woo! That shot. You don't understand what you're involved in. That's his wife. Michelle Moynihan. Please don't make me go through you. Frank Ferguson. Ooh. Mm -hmm. This one was done is done. What's cool. done is done when we say it's done. Sure. Yeah, play that oh theme. God. I want to hear it. I love the Mission Impossible theme so fucking much. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Holy shit. <laughs> that looks great. That looks so good. I'm very excited for that. That's going to be a great time. Comes out two days after my birthday, by the way. Um, just throwing that out there. I don't know why I felt the need to. I know why I felt the need. Because it's my birthday, baby. Um, so that's going to be a good like late birthday present for me. I get to see it a day after, actually. Because technically, I could see it on Thursday. So If they were wise, they put it up on that Wednesday. Just, you know, so I could watch it on my birthday. But, um, yeah, it looks great. I'm really excited for that. That looks like it's going to be a great time. And uh, this this summer has been, like, it just started, I know, but Avengers, and I hear Deadpool 2 is great, and I even hear Solo is pretty good. If those are all true, and I actually think those movies are as good as some people say, then it's going to be a pretty good summer for the most part. Nothing has really disappointed too much. Like, Solo, actually, from what I'm hearing, from what I'm hearing is actually surprising, because a lot of people thought it would be bad. And ended up being okay. Actually, being, 
and it actually uh, ended up being pretty good. Sorry, just combing my hair like a beautiful man I am. It just this little piece doesn't want to stay up. There you go. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, that that was a great trailer. That was the official trailer, and uh, nothing really new when it comes to like like set pieces. But the first trailer that I, have, that I guess it was a teaser trailer. I didn't even know it. Fe it felt like a straight up trailer, like <laughs> an official trailer. But I guess it wasn't. I don't remember it being a uh, teaser, but uh, that was a damn good teaser one because they showed you a lot of shit in that first one, and they gave you a good idea of what the plot is. Here they give you a better idea where it's you know, him; he has to get something, I guess. I don't know. But Henry Cavill or Cavill, however you pronounce it, is going after him this time, um, and he's like a super spy or whatever. He's like badass; he can fly. You know, he's gonna make his mustache digitally erased and yeah, ruin the movie. Um, that's. Uh, Ugh. Anyway, there you go. Before I get into it, that's Mission Impossible uh, Fallout. Looks great. I'm very excited. So there you go. Thank you. And until next time, goodbye.